What's going on guys, TTL here. Today I'm going to be going over my top college basketball, so CBB plays for today. Today is November 7th, 2023. Um, make sure to hit that like button guys, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. I'm trying to get there this month, but all of a sudden the views have started just declining. The subscribers have started declining, um, or the new subscribers have started declining. So. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Hitting that like button, leaving a comment. It really helps me. It helps me grow, and I do appreciate that from you guys. Um, there's not much going on today. Um, unfortunately, there was no NBA today that I could look at. There's no NFL. Um, so we're stuck with college basketball. But I do have two props that I really love today. Unfortunately for us, prize picks just is sucky today. Um, I might actually have three props because there is a third one as well. But right now, uh, prize picks is just sucking with what they have on the board. Um, it's already five in the morning and they just don't have anything. So hopefully some stuff will get added on prize picks. But um, I do have some stuff that I love on underdog. Um, so we are going to be going on underdog today. And really quick before you guys... Um, before we get started, if you're interested in VIP, it's only $20 a month. You get all my slips for every sport on every website. Um, we do sports book bets. We do VIP giveaways, VIP uh, watch parties. We did the whole nine yards, and it's only $20 a month. I greatly appreciate it. And you also have the opportunity to win two NBA tickets up to $250 or a $200 cash prize. You get one entry for every dollar spent on the website. It's just testthelimitdfs.com. Um, you can get a shirt. I'm locking it in with confidence with my Test the Limit DFS logo. Or you can just get a shirt with the uh, logo itself on it or some shorts, a hat, things like that. But every dollar spent does get you one entry into winning some NBA tickets. And let's just get into these um, college basketball plays, why don't we? Really quick, we have been sweeping on Thunder Pick. We can see we went 3-0 and yesterday. And then the day before, we went 5-0 um, and on our NBA props and NBA uh, money lines on Thunder Pick itself. So we've been killing it on Thunder Pick. If you guys are interested in Thunder Pick, feel free to sign up using my link in the description or in the comments. You will get a $600 deposit match and it's a legal sports book for all 50 states. So do highly recommend doing that. Um, again, unfortunately, these are not on prize pick quite yet except for one. So we'll start off with that one that is on here, I guess. And to start us off, it's gonna be Jalen Bridges for Baylor under 12 and a half points. So let's take a look at Jalen Bridges on here. We can see Jalen Bridges under 12 and a half points. This is minus 120 odds on DraftKings, minus 133 on Caesars. It's a 55% implied probability to hit, which just means the probability of something hitting based off of just the sports book odds. It's not based off of anything else. We can see over his last five, he's hitting three of five, last 10, seven of 10, last 20, 14 of 20. And in 2022, he went under in 24 of 34 games. Auburn are ranked 102nd in points allowed last year anyways. Obviously, not really updated for this year, but um, 67.7 points allowed uh, per game. Um, Jalen Bridges is playing around 27 minutes per game. He's shooting around seven field goal attempts per game as of last year and made about 48% of them. So if we can just get, again, just like seven field goal attempts, I'm pretty uh pretty confident that we stay under here. He's averaging around four made field goals with one of those being a three-pointer, which would be three and then five, seven, nine points per game and then two free throws. So around 11 points per game on average. I personally think that he stays under this. Um, I think that he shoots six or seven field goal attempts tomorrow. I don't think he makes any threes personally, one max. And then I think that um, he stays at like six, seven points tomorrow. I do not think he gets even close to this 12.5 line. So I'm locking it in with confidence. So let me pull it up on underdog as well under 12 and a half points locking in with confidence boys and then next up is one that's not on prize picks again for some reason prize picks just does not have many college football props up right now i guess where it's not 
as big as NBA, NFL, etc. They just don't have them. I mean, they have NFL props that aren't until Thursday. They have Sunday NFL props, all that, but not college basketball props that start today, unfortunately. Um, we're going to scroll down just a little bit on our um, outlier, and it should be just around here if we can find it. Yep, it's going to be Ben Cricky, Crikey. I don't know how you say that. I apologize. Um, but we're going to pull him up. And we're going to take the over 23.5 points, rebounds, and assists. He's on Iowa. Let's take a look. In 2022, he went over this number in 69% of games, 22 of 32. Over his last five, he went over in four of five. Last 10, eight of 10. Last 20, 14 of 20. Um, the opposing team is ranked 289th in points allowed, allowing 74 points per game. They're ranked 283rd in rebounds allowed, allowing 33. And then they're ranked 50th for assists allowed, allowing 11. So um, if there was like a points and rebounds, I would take that. But unfortunately, there's just not a points and rebounds on here. So I'm going to take the PRA. He's averaging, last year he was averaging 36 minutes played per game. He was averaging 14 field goal attempts, making 55% of those with around two three-point attempts per game and around five free throws per game. He was also averaging six rebounds per game. So I like his six rebounds. I think he's going to get around that six mark. I think that he's going to throw up. We can take a look at his field goal attempts. Some games he even had up to 24, but on average it was like 14, 15, 16, Field goal attempts. I see him getting 16 to 17 field goal, 16 or 17 field goal attempts today because he did have a lot of games where he had 16, 17. Um, I see him throwing up 16, 17 field goal attempts, making like 50, 55 percent of them, and then I see him making at least like one three pointer as well. So loving this tomorrow or today, I should say. Ben Crikey, Cricky over 23 and a half PRA. So these are my top two. Right beneath these, I do like, I think it was Julian Reese. You can find him. Yep. So Julian Reese under 22 and a half PRA. I think that he's on underdog, but not prize picks again. Yes, yeah, so unfortunately, it's not on prize picks, but Julian Reese under 22 and a half PRA. Um, minus 125 on DraftKings. And we can see the opposing team in assist allowed is 106, allowing only 12 assists per game. Points allowed, they're ranked 82nd, only allowing 67 points per game. And then in rebounds allowed, 193rd, allowing 32 rebounds per game. And we can see that he's averaging 27 minutes played per, lap per game last season with only seven field goal attempts. He made 60% of those per game. I don't think that's going to be... Um, he thought he's going to be able to keep that up this year. He had zero three attempts throughout the entire season, so I don't expect him to throw any threes up today. He had four free throw attempts per game, and then he had seven rebounds per game. The rebounds is the only thing that really scares me. Um, he's projected for eight and a half rebounds. That's why his line is so high. But I think that he stays under. Over his last five, he stayed under in four or five. Last 10, five of 10. Last 20. 13 of 20, 65 percent, and in 2022 again it was 68 percent, 23 of 34. So loving this, taking it um, with confidence. Julian Reese under 22 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. So those are my top three props for college basketball today. I know there's not much, guys. I know Prize Picks doesn't have anything up, but by the time you see this video, honestly, they probably will be up by around seven, eight in the morning. I just wanted to make sure I got this video posted as early as possible in hopes that we can um, hopefully have better views than uh, the past few videos, guys. It's been going downhill. I'm trying to get that 10,000 subscriber mark. So again, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, boys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.